Appreciate you, Brian. Well, if someone is looking to maybe change up their hairstyle and their look, the hair is a great place to start because there's lots of different cuts and styles that are trending right now, but some aren't always flattering on everyone. So that's why our next live guest is here to help us all figure out what to tell your hairstylist the next time you visit the salon. I'd like to welcome Erin Blakely joining us live now. She's a hairstylist and makeup artist in Winston-Salem. Erin, looking fabulous. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, Audrey. How are you doing today? Great. I hope you are. Let's yes, begin with the middle parts. I see you have your middle part. Some people are scared of that, including myself. <laughs> um, so how do you know if it's beneficial and flattering for your face? So um, when clients come in to see us for the first time or if you've been our client for a long time, the number one thing we get asked is what is the best haircut for our face shape? Mm -hmm. So when looking, um, when looking at a person, there's five basic face uh, face shapes. There's oval, round, square, heart, and diamond. Um, and then a whole multitude of other face shapes in between that are a mixture of all of those. When you come in for a consultation with me specifically, I always take everything into an account. I always ask how, like, how often do you style your hair? Um, how much effort are you going to style your hair? Face shapes. Here. Oh, you cu you're cutting out um, just a little bit, Erin, right now. Oh, sorry, we didn't hear that last sentence. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I, I always take into account the whole picture um, of everything that, uh, like the face shape, and then um, because some sty uh, some styles do work for some face shapes and some don't for others. Um, take uh, let's do with the middle part, okay? So heart, um, that's the big trend right now, and not everyone can wear a middle part. Um, it is doable, it might not look the best on some people. Um, oval face shapes get to wear kind of whatever style they want to wear. Uh, round, you want something that's going to elongate your face. So instead of, um, whether it be on the part, it's going to kind of throw off that center. Um, mm -hmm. And then it'll actually, you'll start your layers like down through here. So longer hair with round faces will draw the eye and make the face look longer. Um, square square faces, uh, what you want to avoid is, I can see if I can make mine kind of square right now. Well, perfect so example have, is my square head. So. <laughs> uh, you tell me the side, all the, time. <laughs> the side bangs, that's why I do the side part to kind of cut off the square forehead. Yes, yeah, so you, you're going to want to like change those angles. It's just like sculpting or painting a picture. Mm -hmm. um, anything you can do to change those angles of the face. Um, like say like heart shaped people, you usually have a bigger forehead and then a smaller chin. Heart shaped, you're going to go with some maybe some light fringe across the forehead and then fullness around around your chin and neck area. Um, and that'll actually push that chin out a little bit more so you'll have more of an oval shape. So basically the goal when cutting hair is to have that oval shape as the finished, you know, like, like what you can see is an oval face shape. Um, again, middle parts are great, uh, but not everyone can pull them off. Mm -hmm. If you are trying to pull them off, um, you do have to add like bangs. And again, it's all about those angles to, to move the angles a certain way. Um, if you know, if we take the hair part on the side, that changes the whole shape of my face. Right. It opens it up here and brings it, uh, elongates it this way. So um, that's what we take into account when, when going, you know, with a consultation with a haircut. Um, so when you go into a salon, bring pictures of what you like. Okay. Um, they're gonna look at your face shape, your eye shape, your nose shape, your eyebrows, and then they should ask you questions. Um, how often do you style it? What kind of time frame do you have in the morning? Because that will play into uh, how we cut the hair. And then what about if someone goes into a salon and they don't like their haircut? They think it's unflattering to their face. What do you recommend to do to kind of troubleshoot that? Um, always go back to that stylist that you saw. Uh, we all make mistakes. We all um, should have grace, um, but be honest and open with them. And I think they'll be more receptive um, and just go back and say, hey, I think, can we tweak this haircut? Can we tweak this? I don't think it fits my face shape as well. And if they're a good stylist, they'll, they would more than happy take you in and, and really do an in-depth uh, consultation with you to get exactly what you want. And maybe even just restyle it in a different way, but you know, yes. keep the cut the same or, or whatnot. So um, haircuts are, are great because you can, when I'm cutting hair, I do like it to be able to be styled differently. As you can see with my hair, right. um, I did just take it from that, that middle part to the side part and, and back. Um, but um, you should always have flexibility with the haircut. It shouldn't be just cut to that style. Mm. Um, if you're doing a, a bob on someone, you should be able to make it curly or make it wavy, um, flip the part. So 
when 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 you're consulting with a new stylist or your previous stylist just have that flexibility and that open mind to say hey um i want this haircut but do you think it would be okay if we style it like this let's try this so be open to try new things and um sometimes it is about just getting uh, the right look and the right piece of hair. Like sometimes hair doesn't want to lay the way, you know, a stylist wants it to lay when you get home. So um, it's just about getting um, the right the right techniques down and, you know, each piece of hair to see where it lays. Awesome info. Thank you, Erin. Always great to see you. We appreciate okay. it. And you can find more out about Erin services. Get in touch with her as well. Just visit erin-blakely.squarespace.com. That website is on your screen now. Or I can help connect you with her. <laughs>